Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's featuring new paper, new stamps and dies, and it's just adorable. And the box just opens up like that, so you can put all your goodies and treats and things inside. So the first thing I want to do is actually stamp and die cut my birdhouse. So the stamp said it's called Country Birdhouse and it's got dies that go with it. And actually I'm wondering, I don't know that that's going to fit through my, I've got my little mini cut emboss out here. Is it going to fit? Oh no, it should do. So I want that and I want the bird. And I'm going to colour them with um, blends so I need them to dry fully before I start colouring them in. So. Let me get a bit of cardstock. That's not going to fit through. That should. Oh. We'll see. I might have to get the big block out, the big cutting machine. So, Memento Ink. This is the one that you use when. Oh, hello, Fauna. Oh, just stamped myself there. This is the one that you use with um, uh, blends alcohol markers. I'm going to get my little bird, which is too cute. Put that up there and I do want it to dry fully. I have had this issue before where to use my big machine where I have used um, the markers too quickly. I'll just drop stuff on the floor. Use the markers too quickly and the ink hasn't dried and I've had um, bad bleeding going on. But it's a lovely stamp set. So while I fiddle around here. Let me just put that there where you can see it. I get this all sorted out. So I've got plate one, plate two, clear plate and this. So yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Oh, can you see that? Let's tip it slightly so you can see it better. And as I said, it comes with dies. Country Birdhouse dies. This is, as I said, it's one of our new sweets actually at least I think it is I can't remember um but yeah there's matching paper that goes with it so just do stickify that a little bit get that pressed oopsie oh catch it on my fingers oh that's all come undone I'm trying to catch both of them together there there we go, that should, we'll, we'll hope that that's okay. Right, send it through the cut and mix machine. And then you pop this out of the way, because that's quite big. Okay, that appears to have cut okay. So that's good. So yeah, I got it straight. I didn't wibble it too much anyway. And then get hold of my dies and put them away. Because I don't want to lose them. So, right. Those can now go off and dry while I put the box together. So let me find my instructions. Piece of cardstock, ten and a half by eight and a quarter inches, um, which is... Uh, in metric 27 by 21 and a half centimeters okay so we're going to start on the long side and score I'm going to find my score and stylus score it at two five seven and ten inches which in metric is Five, twelve and a half, seventeen and a half, and twenty-five. Then on the short side, score it at two, five and three quarters, and seven and three quarters of an inch, which in metric is what is it in metric? Five, fourteen and a half, and nineteen and a half. Now my pieces of designer series paper and cardstock are exactly the same length. They are both ten and a half, well actually sorry, this is ten and a half inches, this is ten and a half inches, the cardstock is two and a half inches wide, this is just two, so again in metric, 
20 centi 27 centimetres long for both of them, six and a half centimetres, five centimetres. And you can score these. Um, I like to score them. So half an inch, half an inch, two and a half, five and a half, and seven and a half. That's all in inches, which again in metric is two, seven, fourteen and a half, and nineteen and a half centimeters. So let me come and do this one. So half, two and a half. Five and a half and seven and a half. Right, let's put that out of the way. And try and put this together quite rapidly so I can get to all the colouring. So burnish everything. So this one is it's not very very blue. Is it blue? No, Misty Moonlight. <laughs> I couldn't think for a second. Misty Moonlight, and this is early espresso. So I'm not going to burnish those. Don't need to worry about that. And fill up my score lines. And I have forgotten the name of the paper. The catalogue's too new for me just yet. Can't think of the name of the paper. Right, so this part here is the top where we've got that skinnier score line. So grab a pair of scissors, cut away that rectangle there, and then we need to basically keep all of that section apart from the top. So cut this one away up there, cut all of these. Don't need to do any cutting on the belly bands and then over on the other side cut very straight on that rectangle and then just take a little hair of a whisper off from there it will just help with the clothes so again very straight on there and then just a little bit away from that and then take these two little bits off and i will come around and show you in a second So this being the top, separated all at the bottom, and then this is going to fold round and it's going to close up like that. So one other thing to do, or two things to do, one is to get a corner rounder, which I don't have, so I've got a tiny half inch circle, so come in at the top and wedge it, and that's how you get your corner. Just like that. And then the same bit, I want to get a little thumb hole like I've got here, so this same punch over on the bit that has nothing at the top just a little half circle thumb hole. right tear and tape on here and then turn the back in the sides and the back the front <laughs> even so some glue there, glue there, and glue there. And I'm going to drop that in it just so that it, it dries. Um, and these, this needs to be layered so that you've got, well, it doesn't need to be anything, it could be what you like, but I just like the bigger border at the top and the shallower at the bottom. So I'm just going to run some glue down the length here and pop it on oh that's a bit too shallow at the bottom and then this is going to wrap around so I'm going to put oh, glue there to hold the paper on and then I'm going to put some glue that's far too much glue oops Oh, I'm all fingers and thumbs now. Push that in. And it's going to wrap around and it will tuck and fold and hold 
over to one side and if you look that's far too much glue because it's all just squadged um, it's probably not a good idea to clean this up with tissue but <laughs> we're gonna do it anyway and just hold it closed like so right I hope that's not gonna pop open while I'm doing this so now my birdhouse and I have got, what colour is this? This is Light Summer Splash. Oh, that's new. That wasn't the colour I was after. Um, I wanted Pool Party because that's the blue in there. A um, couple of browns. Grab those. Maybe this one as well. Um. <laughs> Here, right. So my little bird. What's this one? This is boho blue. That's not the blue I was after, but it, it's going to do. So I'm just going to squash a bit on the wings and the tail. And, oops, scribble across with my pool party just to blend the colours a bit. And they will move around. And while I've got the pool party out, just colour in these bits. Oh, somebody's driving up my road. Oh, I hope they're going to a neighbour, not me. <sighs> and colour all of this in. Um, <laughs> the lighter one for the whole part of it. We did have a bird box in our garden, um, but we never got anything. We do, we do get lots of birds in our garden, oops, which is very nice. We get robins and, well, we did have a woodpecker in the next door neighbours. Well, not the next door neighbours, the people behind us. Their garden backs onto, the, the side of their garden is onto the back of ours. And they had woodpeckers and they chopped down their silver birch. Yes. Yes, I know. They weren't allowed to do that. The silver birches are preserved. But yeah, so I don't know where the woodpecker went to. It was very sad, but it was lovely to listen to it. But we get all sorts of birds that come around. Right, I just darkened up that pool party there. And then, I don't know what colour have I got now. Oh, crumb cake. So, crumb cake on this bit. If I did have bird houses, I'd make them all look like fairy houses in my garden. I don't think my husband would be very impressed at that, but I have a couple of solar light lamp thingies. I don't know what you'd call them. That's what I'm calling them um, in my garden that they soak up the sun during the day and then at night they glow and they are little fairy houses. It's very cute. And I've got some solar powered illuminated mushrooms. Well, technically they're to toadstools. Um, yeah, I have a funny old garden. Right, last bit for the birdhouse. Oh, that's too dark. That was not... <laughs> I didn't pay attention to the colour. Probably should have had the colours prepped already anyway. But I'm filming this still inside the Easter holidays. Although you are now seeing it once my boys have gone back to school. So, okay. Right, all done. Oh, look, I'm glad I looked up to remember to zoom out. And then just to finish, we're going to put this on with some dimensionals. a little bird there sitting on the edge and that I think is a nice cute little gift box I think so um, measures two by three by three and three quarter inches which in metric has fallen out of my head where is it five by seven and a half by nine and a half centimeters so a nice size box and I need to 
<laughs> make sure that's glued down properly. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.